Hello, everyone. My name is Mei Chen Liu, and I'm a associate professor at Chinese Academy of Science. I will give a talk about our craft paper titled "Differential Linear Coordinates from an Algebra Perspective." This is a joint work with Xiao Juan Lu and Dong Dai Yi. Xiao Juan Lu is a PhD student, and Dong Dai Lin is a professor at Chinese Camera of Science. This talk consists of three parts. First, let's begin with a brief introduction of the research background. Differential coordinacy and linear coordinacy are two of the most important analytical tools in symmetrical coordinacy. Differential coordinacy was proposed by Beham and Shamir at Crafter 1990. Using the differential coordinacy, the same author broke the full DS. At Crafter 1992, linear coordinacy was proposed by Matu in 1993 and broke the full AS as well. One year after, later, at Crafter 1994, Matu showed the first experimental coordinacy of DS by linear coordinacy. One year later, after linear coordinates were published, Lenford and Hermann proposed the differential linear coordinates. It is an ingenious combination of differential coordinates and linear coordinates. Differential linear coordinates is the chosen, planted two-stage technique of coordinates. The first stage is covered by differential coordinacy, and the second stage is then performed from the middle of the surface to the subtest using the linear coordinacy. Let P be the probability of a differential from data in to data out. And the linear approximation from lambda in to lambda out has a base of Q. Typically, the differential linear approximation from data in to lambda out is supposed to have a theoretical base two times two p times q to two. It is really true. May not be. In the literature, there are few methods to estimating the best of a、uh, differential linear approximation in the middle part, where the differential and the linear trails connect. A natural method is the experimental method. However, it is of course limited by the computational resource. A typical method is the manual extrapolation. The process is tedious and complicated, and the series trigger best may be greatly different from the really the real value. Another method is the differential linear connectivity table, that is DFCT. It was proposed. By Adria, by Ohm, and others at Eurocraft 2000 and 2000 and London. It was inspired by Bamblon connectivity table proposed at Eurocraft 2000 and 80. DLCT is more accurate for many instances, including. 
Aspo, DS, Serpent, Esco, and so on. Although there are still gaps between the estimated best and the experiment value. In this talk, we study differential linear cryptanalysis from a different perspective. That is, the algebraic perspective. A basic fact is that the best of a differential linear explanation is determined by the algebraic normal form of the difference of the output. Nevertheless, it is computationally infeasible to compute the algebraic normal form for a sulfur. To make it feasible, we simplify the enough of the difference of the output of sulfur. That is, compute the algebraic transitional forms rather than the algebraic normal forms. More exactly, we compute the differential algebraic transitional forms of the internal bit as well as the other bit of the sulfur. And then, estimate the differential linear bias with the help of the DATF. Then, we can try to find good explanation by exhaustive search of all the low hammer weight input difference and the output masks. Our final goal is to mount a Kelly cover tag. To this end, we impose some con conditions on the internal bit of the sulfur to make uncertain difference determined in the first ones, and then such good as permissions. The process is an organic combination of this distinguished search and the K guessing. This is the main idea of our paper. Now, let's go to the details. To simplify the edge by normal form, we use the edge by transitional form. Here, we define a simple transitional ruler for a Boolean function u and a binary variable x. The ATF u related to x is defined as ATF u double prime plus ATF u prime. Moreover, for a Boolean function, Omega that does not have a, uh, the binary variable x if it involves two or two or more variables, then the ATF is defined as a new transcendental variable. Otherwise, it remains unchanged. This rule ensures that ATF fx is a ATF or F in a very simplified way that keeps X unchanged. For sulfur E, it can be considered as a rectory Boolean function. The differential linear operation from delta to lambda can be written as a experimentation. Here, data is the input difference, and the lambda is the output linear mask. Denote by f the inner product of lambda and e. Then, the expiration can be rewritten as fx plus fx plus data equals zero. On the other hand, if we introduce a new binary variable, small x, then f big x big x plus small x that is equal to a sum of two pair parts. The first part is a multiple of x, and the remaining part does not have the variable x. We compute the polynomial first, and the k 
calculate the coefficient of x, then observe the differential linear approximation. The differential algebraic transitional form is computed as shown in the figure. The big, the big x is a vector of binary variables, the small x is a binary variable, and the delta n is the input difference. First, we compute the algebraic normal form of Rx plus x delta n, then apply the transitional ruler to it, and then compute the algebraic transitional ruler form of the second one and apply the transitional ruler to the result. And then repeat the steps and finally observe the, the difference algebra transform form of the sulfur. The brow steps it describes as this algorithm. The algorithm requires the algebraic normal form of the circle of the run function and output the DATF Y under uh, expression set Q. F and beta are vectors of variables. From the differential of the ATF, we know each component of the F and beta has at most one binary variable. In step 6, we preserve the original expression of the transitional variable in the set Q. The worst case capacity is O two to D times R times TR where Ti is the number of terms in the NF of the run function, and the D is the, is the algebra degree of the run function. For the most, for most uh, let weight surface, D and I are usually small, and then the capacity becomes OTI. Give the DATF of a sulfur. We are able to estimate the differential linear bias. Our algorithm for estimation of a bias is depicted here. The Boolean polynomial E is the algebraic expression of the differential linear expression. We divide the polynomial E into two parts. One part without any isolate variables, and the other part with only the isolate variables. For the first part, we estimate the bias directly from the algebraic expression. For the second part, we substitute the expressions Q into it, and update E with the new S polynomial. Then repeat the bow procedure until A is zero. Finally, we observe a estimated value for the bars. If E have no isolate variables, then the capacity is O two to two M one where M is the size of the X box. To refine the estimation, we can also pre-estimate the prob probability distribution of the transitional variables. Next, let's show the application. As the illustrations, we applied our theory and the techniques to three different types of symmetric surface, including the authenticated, authenticated surface S cone.
the broke sapphire serpent and the string sapphire green V1. Esco is a scissor furnace as well as the LWC furnace. Serpent the AES furnace and the string sapphire green V1 in the extreme furnace. The result of the differential linear bias of Ascom and the Serpent and the differential bias of the green V1 are summarized in Table 1, where CDL means conditional differential linear and CD means conditional differential. Compared with the DLCD tool, our techniques can be applied with more runs and provide more accurate estimation of the differential linear bias. Besides, our techniques can also be applied to differential cryptocurrency. Compared with the differential edge method tool made for the green neck surface, our techniques are more durable and have a much better performance. Compared with the experimental approach, our edge bracket techniques are more formalized and uh, interlinked for conditional text and uh, in particular much faster when the best is low. This helps us find better conditional explanations for SCOM and uh, Green V1. Our character analytical results of SCOM, SEPT, and the Green V1 are summarized in Tab 2. For SCOM, our tag, apart from the provision differential linear one, but not the cube tag. For SEPT, to the best of our knowledge, we provide the first correct attack on its 12 rounds variant and the first uh, differential linear attack on its 11 rounds variant with 112 and 28 bit key. To the best of our knowledge, our attacks are that far the best on low cryptocurrency of serpent as well as the best uh, differential linear cryptocurrency of ESCOM and uh, the best uh, in national uh, analysis of Green V1, the results have been fully verified by experiment. Notably, security analysis of separate is one of the most important uh, applications of differential linear cryptocurrency in the last two decades. The result in this paper update the differential linear cryptocurrency of serpent 100, 128 and the serpent 256 with one more one after the work of Beham document and Kelo in 2003. In this talk, we have shown a new series of differential linear cryptocurrency for an edge break prospecting, including the estimation of the differential linear bias and the technical for key recovery. We have applied it to the CISA furnace and the LWC furnace, the AES furnace serpent and the extreme furnace the green green V1. And again, the most uh, accurate estimation of the best as well as the best low differential linear or differential attacks. In particular, the result in this paper updates the cryptocurrency of the serpent with one more one. Our technique for Kilikara is the organic combination of the distinguishing research and the key guessing and that outperform the prevision critical in the differential linear cryptocurrency. 
We believe that this new collaborative analytical tool is useful in both collaborative and the design of symmetrical collaboration systems. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please feel free to contact me.